A customer calls to get some work done. Click on Schedule to open the calendar. There are several ways to start an appointment. Highlight the start time and click on New Appointment, or double-click directly on the time itself to open a default appointment. If you know the work requires a longer appointment, you may click and drag to specify how much time, then right-click and use the submenu option for New Appointment. The allotted time matches what you defined by dragging the mouse. This opens the Find Customer for Schedule window, where you select existing customers or link to a new customer dialog window to record the customer and vehicle information. You may use license plate, last four digits of phone number, membership number, or some portion of first or last name. By typing a few letters of the last name, we see they're an existing customer and click OK. This opens the vehicle selection window for selection of an existing vehicle record with an add vehicle option if they're bringing in a new one for the first time. Select the vehicle to work on and click OK. This places you in the appointment editor. The customer's name is shown in the subject field and the appointment state is open. If you highlighted a desired time slot in the schedule before launching the appointment editor, this will be the start time displayed. Changes can quickly be made to the start and end times and dates using the calendar tool, drop down time slot list, and adjustments by keyboard if necessary. The all day event checkbox is used to quickly reserve the entire day for larger jobs. An internal reminder can be set for this event check the box and choose a unit of time from the list. Comments may be included with an option to display them as notes on the order. The comments section will provide guidance until actual work is assigned. Technician and resource assignments can be made at this time if known and their color coding will appear alongside. The customer and vehicle details are visible for handy reference. Canned jobs may be applied to an appointment in two ways. The Add button provides access to search within the full can job list, or you may right click on the bottom grid to access any of your 30 quick can jobs. The scheduler will warn you when the amount of work selected to be done is greater and you should adjust the appointment time accordingly. Please note that since Auto Adjust End Time is checked, that if any subsequent labor time is added once this appointment is converted to an estimate or repair order, the appointment time will automatically update to offset this change. When you are satisfied with the appointment input recorded, click on Save and Close. Depending on the view selected, the appointment is now visible in your schedule with customer name and any comment text if so enabled. If a customer calls back and says they can't make it to their existing appointment, check the calendar and simply drag it to another time and or technician that works for you and your customer. Then when they do arrive, double click on the appointment to open it and then click Create to choose Estimate or Repair Order to proceed with the work.